Dear comrades, dear colleagues, dear friends, dear colleagues, dear Sergei, virtually confirmed as the president of our party, dear Enrique, thanks for your candidacy and also for this gesture with which tonight you showed us your love for the European Socialist Party. Dear Martin, dear Hungarian colleagues, our party will have to deal with a task which isn't easy. We are facing a time of change. As Milan Kundera wrote, once the status quo was still and it was easy to choose sides but suddenly the status quo got into motion and now it flows like a river today we are treading paths that are shifting on their own and in front of this change it's increasingly difficult to set the borders to identify ourselves by means of age-old identities. New questions arise. What kind of answer should the left give our family in the face of globalization? What should we say and do in face of the distrust regarding delegation and representative democracy? This change creates in the midst of our constituency a feeling of being lost and quite often of being powerless. The idea is getting more and more widespread that something else, a greater force, is depriving us of our destiny, hindering us to choose our own future. And this something else is the market. Suffice it to see what's going on with the transatlantic partnership, the TTIP, to see the way in which fear prevails in a lot of our citizens, the groundless fear that it's our democracy which is at stake. It is this feeling of being lost and powerless that we have to tackle. It is our responsibility to return the sense to political action. And this is done only by proving that it's possible to change and that alternative is viable and it's us. We aren't magicians, but we are trying to become ones. I was honored to be the president of a group who work with uh, dedication and passion uh, and we have been working for change we are proud of the results we have achieved we started to shift European economic policy five years ago the mantra of the Barroso Commission was austerity by now the climate has changed growth and investment is at the heart of the European alphabet in this last year we have managed to obtain the 315 billion investment plan, a plan that has to go in hand in hand with transition. Thanks to the work of the Italian Presidency and of Pierre Moscovici, we have achieved a smarter interpretation of the rules of the Stability Pact. But we have and we have massacred the Pact of Stability and we created a smarter and more open economic policy that is more open to, towards immigrations and our immigration and our communities. And the Juncker Commission, in which, uh, which got a proposal from Federica Mogherini and Franz Timmerman, which received a proposal and that was approved with a huge majority 
this proposal finally is opening up a new season on the politics of uh, immigration and for the first time it offers the quota of immigrants, it, it gives the opportunity to distribute the immigrants among um, member states. Today it's France or uh, Sicily or Malta. Next time it might be the Baltics or other countries. And now I'm asking our leader, our uh, heads of states, not to hinder this huge achievement in the European Council because it would be a crime to obstruct this important proposal of change and it would be contrary to the ethics, to the, the values of social democracy. But we will lose if we lose this topic. We have to be ourselves if we want to regain the confidence of our own citizens. Three. Martin Schulz has spoken that with the battle in the fiscal every year there is dumping, fiscal dumping. There is billions and billions of euros were confiscated from the public and our citizens and we have to absolutely correct this huge injustice. The taxes has to be paid where the profits are made. And we have the aspiration much, much higher to create a common European tax from based on the profits of the great companies to make reasonable and avoid competitions, fiscal competitions among the state members. I've already spoken about the injustice of fiscal. And at the end, we have to speak and give an answer to the social task. We have to put in the center, in the socialist, the people just finished with the debates between the numbers. Firstly, come the people and then the youngsters and the elderly and then the numbers. And at the end, let me say that we have to reinvent the socialist. We very often forget that it means solidarity. And this moment, the solidarity word we want to underline to the citizen of Greece and Cyprus government is making mistakes, but but cannot pay the people of Greece. And that's why I insist. To insist to ask a meeting and to avoid the Greek seek to could be a failure for the Greece and for the whole European Europe and the old conservatives that they are laughing on the fire. They, they had to finish because they are really playing with the fire because they are putting on at stake the people of Greece, a very huge, this is the DNA of Europe, Greece, because without the Greece, without the Hellenic cultures, we would be like babies and without ideas, friends and comrades. The Socialist Party, European Socialist Party, to win this challenge has to be trustful to itself, but it has to reinvent. The, the world has been changed. We cannot stay the same as before. Yes, we have to be trustful to our values, but we have to reopen. We have to open, less we had done in the group European, and we, and we know, and we had 
rebaptize our noem democratic and socialist and with dignity and with the same rights and their respect the socialist european values and that's why we have to be have to behave this have to be an avocation, a majority, and they have to become a new alternative because in four years we have to win the elections and we have to be the leader of the Europe and we have to put the socialists as a leader and, and to alarm our family, the reformist, reformist and progressist and the democratics who are in Europe present. Myself, I have to call on two comrades, Antonio Costa and Pedro Sanchez. There are comrades who will speak to you with the anniversary and the 20th, 13th anniversary to Portugal and Spain to you know, near Europe and all the comrades who will be affiliate or destiny and we have to make a big congratulation because the, there are uh, there really victories spain and the portugal we can open a new phase in europe to get back the the conservatism back to our ha and we and the liberalist politics and we have to go to the to create equality so, socials and creating world. Thank you, Antonio. Thank you. And we will be the new dawn of Europe.